Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. My son doesn't know when to stop, ever. <laughs> so, okay. So, um, this is just my cut and dry foam. Um, coordinations, paper, and stuff in here. Um, trim. This is how I store my trim. It's all on ribbon spools and stuff, but I'll get, I'll do a trim and storage thing. More trim. More trim. Um, this is card making stuff. These are all envelopes. These are all card bases and envelopes and packaging and stuff. And then this is like my adhesive back bling and swirls and then single rhinestone adhesive back. And then this is just tools. Um, and this cubby here. <laughs> It houses a lot of my golden paint, and then a couple of my cheapy Americana Cracker Barrel or Craft Barrel or whatever, Apple Barrel, and then, like, my glitter jar. <laughs> Some more buttons, actually, they need to go into the button bowl. Um, my vintage type buttons, they call it glass beads, stuff like that. <clears throat> I'm getting sick <clears throat> and losing my voice. Sorry, you guys. Um, up there is just more golden paint and then, like, Danielle Smith acrylics. Um, what do you call it? Like, chalks. These are just all chalks up here. And Stampin' Up stamps up here. More washi tape up here. I love my bowls for my washi tape. And then a lot of decorations. Some more, like, Prima flowers and glitters up there. In my birdie cage. So just decoration type stuff up here. And then this is my tower of power. No. <laughs> um, okay, on top, the Paris box up there, the top one, is all mini flowers. Like little rosebuds and dandelion, or not dandelion, cow lilies, stuff like that. <laughs> and bottom one is like Prima butterflies and then like those... Um, Recollection butterflies and stuff like that. Um, then junk jewelry, I find it swap meets, um, flat prima flowers, um, bags like, let me see, like glassy bags and stuff. That's that's what's in here, and like little baggies and stuff. Rub ons, die cuts, um, floral stuff, like in general, like birdies, sprays, floral stuff. Um, next two drawers are Tim Holtz. Like, this is a bunch of Tim Holtz stuff. And then this is, like, the bigger Tim Holtz stuff and, like, grunge board stuff. Six by six paper. And this is just a mix of companies. A lot of my mind's eye. Um, Echo Park, Kaiser Craft, Authentique. Just a bunch of six by six. And then this is my Prima six by six collection. And then, this is like 8 by 8s and like mat stacks and stuff like that. So, that is <laughs> this wall in a nutshell. Okay. So, I don't know, should I come in? I guess I'll do over here next. Um, this is my altered, um, like vintage frame that I did. And I just put, what do you call it, chicken wire on the back and then like the little clip it up clips. And these are all cards from friends and stuff. And then, my Big Shot Pro. And here is all my Big Shot Pro dies. I don't have very many yet. I will get more someday. Um, Sizzix Originals and Big Dies. And more Sizzix Originals. Um, I don't use those too much. <laughs> but my Tim Holtz. <laughs> this big drawer here. Like all my Tim Holtz. Dies. I use those all the time. <laughs> And more Tim Holtz. And waiting for more Tim Holtz. Tools. And then that one's empty. Um, my little doodle bug shelves. It's just got a bunch of stuff down there that inspires me or I've made or just love. Okay, my Martha Stewart punch shelf. You've seen this in my pan over tour. I love this. So, and I did, I got OCD and I went in and I labeled. Oh, my punches! <laughs> Except this one, I can't find the name of that one. So if anybody knows what this punch right here, that one right there. Yeah, I need the label. <laughs> so, and then this is my, my door again. And then just my little 
like, I love myself well, I guess, no, um, yeah, pretty much, <laughs> and then some more stuff, like a little shabby chic flower heart I made, my teapot, um, my friend bought this for me, and it's like a little postcard on the back, she just wrote a sweet little letter, so, let me flip that around without busting it, try and be gentle. Um, this is where I keep my teacup collection. Well, some of it. The other's on top of my Jet Mac storage. And my Glimmer Mist and my Distress Stains. Um, gosh. I feel so nervous doing this for some reason. And I've been doing videos for a while. I don't know. Um, my Crackle Paints. My Distress Paints. And my little Acrylic Dabber collection. So, I want to get the complete, yeah, I'm weird, I need everything to be a complete collection, <laughs> so, oh, and then my, my scrap and dippity sign up there, um, this is how I store my embossing folders, just in a basket, flip through them, I need to label them, for some reason, I need to, um, those are all beads and charms, and all down there is all beads and charms, um, my little tiny, Stampin' Up stamp collections right there. This is like bling mesh. I have enough to last me a lifetime. Underneath that is like all my pearls and stuff. And here is just my little flat dies. That, um, I don't know what else to do with, so there they are. And then just alterable weird stuff. More stuff I got from swaps and stuff to alter. I use my sewing machine, a couple of my books, and my Otis. I love my Otis. I don't know about you guys, but I do like my um, Motown. So, okay. <laughs> um, up there's all my Cricut Imagine cartridges. Just because I have the hardest time with, like, my Gypsy always freezes when I try to use my Imagine with it. I don't know if you have that problem, but it's driving me insane. So, I keep those cartridges in my craft room. And then just some more seed beads and my jukebox. My crickets right there, the ones that are upstairs, not hooked up to the computer or at my son's school because his teacher's borrowing my little cricket. <laughs> and then my um, shadow box thingy I made or alterations box. Like I, I made, like I, there's a video. Maybe I should link it below too. I don't know. But um, inside my armoire. <laughs> Okay, let me open the, both of the doors. Um, there's more Jet Max cubes in here. Um, and here is where I keep all my clay tools and stuff. And then all my clay is in here. All my resin type stuff is in here. And I just got these recently. So um, these are like the file cabinet ones. But I haven't got any of the extra um, file cabinet like files. Because this is where I want to keep my Stampin' Up! paper. Um, up here is just, like, Project Life type stuff, and then, like, my vintage magazine covers. Like, they're both from May. My friend bought these for me because she knows how much I like antiques and stuff. And that one last year was 100 years old on my birthday. So she bought them for me because they were May, and my birthday's in May. Um, Cricut mats, my bigger golden paints, and then this is, like, gesso and water, like, whitewash. Um, more golden stuff, like my bigger golden and mica flakes, all that stuff is down here, and here where this won't stay. My wood embellishments are in here, like my butterflies, my dress forms, just wood embellishments, embossing powders, and oh, these smell so good. They're the downy ones, like the purple downies. Okay, <laughs> this is like all my embossing powder in this drawer. And then my miscellaneous, which is exactly that, miscellaneous, just stamp making material, stuff like that. And then my shabby scrap store. And then up here's like my stapler, my exacto kit my dad got me for my birthday. And then the few filed thingies that did come with my drawers, I have like my stamp and that paper in. Just the few that I do have. So yeah. <clears throat> On the doors. <laughs> Again, with the shoe bag thingy, I took and I cut it up, but I left, like, the, the fabric seam. 
And this is how I store my Glindy, Glindy's, Glindy's, <laughs> Lindy's, I was going to say Glimmer Miss and Lindy's, <laughs> yeah, um, my Lindy's and like, like this fabric spray paint, but I really like that for our journaling, like my homemade paint pots, oh, I have some more like, like homemade paint pots, yeah, and then my paint pots are down here, and my little BBs that I stick in my these and then my other side is all Lindy's too and then that is it for my oh wait no <laughs> down below and I'm just gonna give you a quick view um down below is alterable stuff on this side tools on that side it's just a mix of everything so <sighs> on to the side of my armor side of my armor has my flat Fabio's Lindy's my um delusions and my um color shines and then empty spray bottles. This is my mixed media card. <laughs> my, my voice is going. It's so weird. Um, my mixed media card. It's got my Neo colors, my Prisma colors, and then inside is just all sorts of like my Doc Martens, um, concentrated watercolors, hydrous watercolors, um, my Lumineers, just all sorts of stuff I'd use in my art journal. <laughs> is that little cart there? And then I think I'm going to get something to drink because my voice is going, so I will be back. Okay, on to my closet. Um, like I said, I leave my closet doors open. Um, I like to see what I have. Um, so it's always, it always looks like this. I got all my fabrics just hanging up in here, and then my, like, um, paint towel was also hanging up there, um, that I just, it's an old towel that I bought at the Goodwill that I just cut up and I use in, like, clean up. Um, up there, in that box right there, is all my paper quilling stuff. <laughs> Top box is just memorabilia. Um, my Aunt Light and my Your Story. Bottom box is paracord. Top box is all my O-ring wire. And the very top box is giveaway stuff. And then a bunch of, like, like a bolt of mesh fabric. And then a tray I want to alter. Um, dress form I want to alter <laughs> up there. Um, my dominoes. Um, my porcelain embellishments I make. Um, scrapbook. Family photos. Adhesive. And then all of this to here is all canvas is that I'm working, either working on or raw canvas. So, uh, <laughs> my journey book that I'm working on, more adhesive, um, puppy pads from when my dog was a puppy, but it works great when, when you're glimmer misting, so, yeah. And yarn and fabric scraps and stuff like that. These two baskets are flowers. Um, this is like my colored wild orchid crafts type flowers. All my Primas, Petaloo, um, stuff like that is in this one. Like my package manufacturer flowers. And then white flowers. And then um, just a mix of everything. Mostly this basket's for stuff that's not in packages anymore. It's just a free for all. I did throw a few packaged items in there that shouldn't be in there. This box is, I have no, oh, like Prima tins and like stuff. So Prima flowers basically. More Cricut stuff, smash books, um, Project Life, my Project Life thingy. Um, vinyl for my Cricut, chipboard and Project Life, like, what do you call it? Like the inserts. A mix of just embellishments and stuff. Um, stamp storage I'm working on, like I stamp each one of the stamps, and then, um, I laminated a sheet, and I haven't cleaned them yet, I can go back and clean them, but I laminated, um, a piece of, two pieces of cardstock with my Your Story, and I'm making my own stamp storage that way, seeing how I like it, and I thought maybe if I like it, then I will do a video. <laughs> um... Cricut, um, like, what do you call it, like, I have all my cartridges printed out right here and right here, like, this is my, um, imagine, and this is my expression, and, well, you know, any ones that take the expression cartridge, um, swap stuff, um, file folders, white cardstock, this is how I store all my Martha Stewart glitters, 
and my sewing thingy, like my sewing basket thingy right there. My Teresa Collins stamp maker, not too happy with it, but it's there. <laughs> um, more tools and such that I hardly ever use, and soda bottle that I'm going to turn into a, what do you call it, a jetpack for my nephew. <laughs> Send it to him for his birthday. And then my Zetter cutter, love this. I'm the total um, Zetter brandaholic, I love it, I gotta have it all. Um, mixed chipboard, <laughs> everything's in here, I just dig through here. And break stuff, yeah. So anything that's chipboard related, it goes in there pretty much. Um, fake flowers and floral type ribbon. And like craft paper, I hate this paper, but I've been using it. So paper bags, um, tissue paper, stuff like that. Then that drawer. So that's my closet in a nutshell. And then my banner. I love my banner. And then my hot air balloons up there too. So, okay, in my corner, my my mini that Carissa made me, my fan, and another mini I made, my other embellishment center, it's got beads all on the top shelf, and then stickles, and then liquid pearls, um, more embellishments, all embellishments, just, yeah, and then this is the desk that I made, well, I didn't make the desk, I just refurbished it, I mean, me back up without falling over anything. Give you a better look. I love this desk so much now. <laughs> I got it for free and it was a beat up and it was like really ugly. <laughs> but um I think I did it justice maybe. Um okay on top this is this apothecary I think I'm saying it right apothecary jar is just where I keep my buttons. This little flower candy dish thingy where I keep all my brands uh, my little just one box that I made a mini I just finished. My vintage typewriter that works. I love my typewriter. And my Tim Holtz stamp collection. This is all Tim Holtz. And then in the drawers is like typewriter and label maker stuff. Um, eyelets, big brads, and stuff like that. I don't know if there's anything even on this side. Oh! like tools on this side and spellbinders that are too big and this is my slice tool drawer and um, this is how I store my dies and I will do that in a die storage video and then uh, it's sticky drawer um, just extra tins and magnet and then my curtains and up above um, is just Stuff I like to look at. And those old scissors that I can't bring myself to get rid of. But I think everybody's got them. <laughs> and down here. This is how I store my trims and my ribbons. Um, a lot of my Venice lace and stuff. And then down below is some more vintage lace. My glass mat from Stampin' Up. And then... um my stereo, my little boom box, um, paper, um, it just goes, it's all 12 by 12 cardstock, like this is white and black, all different shades of browns, purples, pinks, reds, orange, yellows, blues, and greens, and then this wall of paper right here is, um, sort of sorted by theme, I guess would be the best way to say it. Um, like, the top one there is vintage, and then it says theme. <laughs> um, holiday flowers, plaids and squares. Um, where am I at with my finger? Oh, here, right there. Um, dots, stars, stripes, hearts, boys, girls, misks. And then down at the very bottom is holiday. So I got, like, Valentine's Day, Halloween, and Christmas. So, yeah. Um, over here is, um, like, my wood-mounted stamp storage, and I'll just show you. Um, top drawer is empty on here. I, this is my Copic drawer, like, this goes to my airbrush system. Um, Copic friendly paper and masking film. And then this is my art journal drawer. And the rest is stamps, like, this is all my background script stamps and stuff. 
and then like just stamps and I do have these catalogs and I will do a video on that to show you how I know what I have <clears throat> um, my Prima inks um, my other stamp solutions Prima stamps this is all Prima right here and then all these are stampers best and these are my inks and clean or my blocks and um, ink pad or what do you call it stamp cleaners yeah, and just another pretty shelf up there, and then another pretty shelf up there, and then this one's got room for stuff, so yeah, and then this little thingy I made to hold my washi tape, kind of outgrew that, and so it just sits there and is like a catch-all for everything, but that is my craft room in a nutshell, nice little overview, Woohoo! Yeah, so. My little piece of heaven. It's gonna get dark by the window again. Yep, mm -hmm. I knew it. It's gotta be that window making it dark. So. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles!